What's going on? My heart's beating like crazy. The fall of Yggdrasil has changed everything. It's more than likely Sniffleheim didn't escape unscathed. Which is why I think we'd better check in on Queen Frisabel before we head off to Arborea. That all right with you? Right. We're away to the castle to see the Queen. While we're at it, why don't you lot take a look around town and make sure everything's okay? What's the matter, Eric? You look like you've seen a ghost, lad. It's nothing. I'm fine. You want us to take a look around town, right? I I'm all over it. Uh, and second thoughts, you're coming with us. You're in no fit state to be wandering around on your own. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a burden. Come on now, laddie. This isn't like you. Chin up, eh? A stroll to the castle will do you the power of good. Cheer up, your majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? <gasps> Lord Rab! And your friends, too. I am so happy to see you safe and well. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. A lot's happened since last we met. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. But we survived. Some were not so lucky. What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffelheim. It affects people, animals, even plants. 
Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. To gold? We don't know what causes it or how to cure it. So every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. I tried to send for help, but every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. I have tried to tell my subjects she is innocent, but they simply will not listen. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. There, there, your majesty. Danny looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Take care, dear friends. Hmm. Gold. My gold. There you are. Is everything all right? Mm, not exactly. You see, the queen seemed awful sad. Mm. And she told us about this. Mm. 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 Ah. Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute, he asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold too. <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. You... you know me? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffelheim knows you. You're the... Oh, no! This can't be happening! What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? It's... It's... Got me!
I take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. Eric, honey, are you okay? Oh, tell me where it hurts. Eric? Huh? I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. Glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders, who once roamed the northern seas, would often stop here to buy supplies, or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. And when they came, Eric, you came with them. Uh, I'm a Viking? <sighs> so that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them, took them in, and raised them as their own. Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! I need to be alone for a while. Forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down.
Huh? Hey. I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just... Is that... That ship, if the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. <laughs> Into your pocket, sniveling Sniffelheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Kildegoth. All your gold belongs to us. Come on, you cluttering curs, let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. <laughs> Metal-headed morons! Get the statue back to the ship! You don't want to keep Gildiger waiting! The monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be there doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiger, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels! Cease your boastful blustering, fiend! You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us! <laughs> you think you can stop us? Feeble flesh bags! You're not even worth stealing! The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys!
Let us massage. Companions are fleeing. After them! <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Eric! They've got Eric! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! How? Why? Never mind why. They must be stopped. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> We were too slow. Oh, Eric. We are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. I am sorry. The creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. And yet, they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. <gasps> Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in, could they be? You know, I had the very same thought. Yes, I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they are them. But how? Hmm. Those gold hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here in a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. Thank you. 